Okay, so we got disconnect, uh, disconnected because of some, you know, Comcast related issues, but we're back again. We were talking about this particular sentence, like we are meeting after almost 10 years. Um, imagine that if you were to write down this sentence in Hindi, you know, <clears throat> the way you would do is like you'll try to break it down, right? It's a, you can say that it's a present continuous form. It's a present continuous tense, right? So it should be, it should not be that difficult, right? I mean, all you have to do is like first come up with a sentence for we are meeting, right? And then, you know, there are some keywords like after, almost, and then 10 years, right? So I'm just going to give you like, you know, uh, this is exactly the place where we got disconnected. So I'm going to give you like, you know, uh, 30 seconds or a minute to kind of, um, Think about how will you write this sentence, you know, uh, in Hindi, and then we'll jump to the solution of it. <clears throat> so take your time, and uh, you know, in the meantime, I'm gonna post the link to everyone. <clears throat> Try it, it should be relatively straightforward. We are meeting, first start with that, okay? Okay, um, after, right? After is? <clears throat> very good, very good, right? So the first thing you write, wrote is like, we are meeting, hum, mil, Rahe hai, hum mil rahe hai, right? Um, after, ke baad, right? Almost, almost is, lag bhag, lag bhag, right? And 10 years is 10 saal. So if you combine everything together, <clears throat> If you combine everything together, it will be hum. Lagbhag. Das. Saal. Ke baad. Mil. Rahe. Hai. <clears throat> hum lagbhag das saal ke baad mil rahe hai. So take a note of it, uh, you know, so that way, uh, if you have any questions, I'll be more than glad to, you know, answer your question. <clears throat> All right. So now, the next one I have is like, you know, especially if you're meeting, you know, your close friend after many years, you know, you, <laughs> you usually you say, oh, you've changed so much, right? And uh, that's the next sentence, basically, you know, you have changed so much. You have changed so much or you've not changed at all. Right. I mean, you can say that as well. Um, as you can see, um, it's, uh, you know, present. And you have, you know, so it's perfect. Present perfect. So if you remember from the earlier, uh, you know, in the first half of this class, I told you that in general we use chuka, uh, chuki, and chuke with the verb. Right? Or gaya. Uh, you know, if the word calls for it, right? Gaya also, Gaya or Gai or Gai, right? Um, this is exactly what we'll be using. Uh, uh, this is exactly we'll be using in this sentence as well. Um, so the verb here is, and while I'm writing it, if you already know about it, feel free to, you know, 
feel free to write it down. So verb here is to change. Right? And um, to change in Hindi is okay. It's badalna. To change. Badalna. Right? Badalna. Now when we're using you know badalna in this context in the present uh, perfect you know badalna will be you know either you can say badal chuka for a for a male or badal gaya or you can say badal gai or badal chuki or you can say for this is for feminine right and now a feminine singular and plural and now for masculine plural um, you know it's badal gay or badal chuke badal gay Right. So um, just to repeat again, this is to to change, and this is has changed or have changed depending on the the, the pronoun. Right. So I hope this is clear. Um, so um, not Leah. We are not using Leah here. It's like you know um, because this word in in. I mean, but Leah, you can use it if the sentence calls for it. But in this particular case, you are talking about uh, Jana, right? Main badal, uh, main, main badal jata hun, right? Like, I, you know, or you you change often, right? To badal jata hai, right? So in this case, the verb calls for Jana. That's why the past form or the perfect form is Gaya, right? If you're talking about, you know, if you're exchanging something, right? Uh, like you know, if you're, or if you're changing your clothes, right? It's badal liya. Mane uh, shirt badal liya, right? That's that. That's when you use, you know, liya. Okay. In this case, it's like you know, you're talking about, uh, you know, jana. That's why it's there. So I hope this is sort of clear, uh, you know, to change, and this is have or has changed right so now if you have to make this sentence you have changed so much let's just break it down let's just talk about the first half of it you have changed how do you say that you have changed how do you say that <clears throat> You have a verb, like you know, verb in front of you, and you have a pronoun also. Try it. Very good, right? So either you can say tum, and tum is usually you're referring as a plural, right? So tum, even though it's one person, tum badal gay. Ho, oh. or aap badal gaye hain. Very good. Aap badal gaye hain. Or if you are making it very informal, you can say tu badal gaya hai. All you have to do is like you know, for so much you have to do is like you just put. Bilkul here, right after the pronoun, you put bilkul. Bilkul, like absolutely, you've changed so much, or you know, a lot. Like, tum bilkul badal gaye ho, aap bilkul badal gaye hain, or tu bilkul badal gaya hai. <clears throat> so, if you look at it, like, you know, we kept the, the, this thing we kept it as we discussed just now, like badal gaya. 
right? Only thing we have changed is the the pronoun, right? Now the same thing if you want to say you have not changed at all, right? You have not changed right now you so much, but you have not changed at all. How will you say that? Or how will you? Where will you make changes in the sentences? <clears throat> Okay, very good. So, if you want to keep it really simple, all you have to do is like, um, tum bilkul nahi bazal badle ho. So, let me write it down. So, the first one will be a little bit tricky. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, the way you write it is, you have not changed at all. Tum bilkul so it's a little bit complicated than what I was anticipating, but I still write it down. Okay. Tum bilkul nahi badale badle ho. Tum bilkul nahi badle ho. Um, or to, or let's say, up only. So it's a little different actually. Up, bilkul, nahi, badle, hai, or Similarly, for two, bilkul <clears throat> nahi batla so The last part is kind of like, you know, it's uh, implied. Even if you don't write it, it still means the same. Even if you say, tu, tum bilkul nahi badle. That means you have not changed, um, you know, or aap bilkul nahi badle, uh, you know, uh, you didn't change. So same thing basically, right? So you, this is like, you know, you can, you can, even if you don't mention it, ho hai and hai, it's still, you know, it means the same. Uh, let me see if you, I see a lot of question here. <clears throat> So this is like the earlier one. If you if you want to say that you change a lot, right? So this might be a bit of a, a tricky situation or tricky sentence, but uh, let me know if this is still not clear. Actually, you know, um, the interesting thing to note here is like it's you know it's changed from ho to to basically you know right now we are not using gaya or chuka we are simply saying tum bilkul nahi badle you didn't change at all okay um, take a look at it I'm gonna look at it as well from the grammar perspective as to why we have not used uh, gaya or chuka okay and I'll I'll get back to you but this is how you will say the you know if you want to say you've not changed at all. Right. The next one, <clears throat> you know, I have is like, you know, we still have some time. So the next one is, I have is like, do you remember? So basically, again, um, the, the theme here is like, you know, especially when you're meeting someone after many years, you want to remember like you know the old memories right old moments <clears throat> so you you like to say do you remember x or y or z right many sentences based on that <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is like we'll pretty much cover all of them do you remember um, let's say <clears throat> school days Sometimes you want to talk about those, or do you remember <clears throat> our college classes? Or sometimes you even say, 
our childhood. What else? What else can you think of here? <coughs> Um, if you've watched a match together, you know, you can talk about that as well, right? So pretty much anything that you guys have shared with each other or you've done together, you know, you can think about those. So with that being said, I'm going to cover, you know, like a basic sentence for it. So do you remember, right? How do you say that? Do you know the keyword or the, the Hindi? Word for remember. Okay. Something with yaad. Okay, so that's correct. Yaad. Okay. Um, the way um, you know you say it is like you know I remember. So the simple sentence is I remember. Right. Um, the way you say it is like, you know, it's to me, if you want to, to translate it as it is from, you know, from English, it's to me, it is remembered. Right? So to me is mujko, mujko yaad hai. Or mujhe yaad hai. Right? So the way you say it, I remember is mujko yaad hai. You know, um, yaad is a noun here, that's why it's like, you know, to me it's mujko. Or, you know, if you want to say, do you remember, like, tujko yaad hai. So mujko becomes tujko or aapko, aapko yaad hai. Right? The same thing, like, you know, when you say, do you remember? It would be kya, kya aapko yaad hai, kya aapko yaad hai, or for other pronouns, you will say, kya tujhe kya tujhe yaad hai, or, you know, I mean, you can change the around, that should not be difficult. Or, kya tum hai? Kya tum hai yaad hai? Like, so that's a, like the, the, the base sentence. Now, on top of it, you can talk about, you know, what you got, what you are referring to about, right? So, you can say, Anything and then kya, kya aapko yaad hai or I'm going to give one example here. So now the, you know, the sentence is like, do you remember our childhood? Okay. Any idea how the sentence will change now? <clears throat> Try it. Mm -hmm. Kya tujhe humara bachpan? Okay. Um, <clears throat> almost, right? So, either you can say, kya tujhe yaad hai humara bachpan? Either you can say, if you can just put right after the sentence, kya tujhe yaad hai humara bachpan? Or you can say, kya tujhe, and then you put humara bachpan, and then yaad hai. Kya tujhe humara bachpan yaad hai? So you can put it here as well, in between. Okay, now let's change it a little bit, and let's talk about, <clears throat> mm 
let's talk about uh, do you remember our school days try it do you remember our school days It shouldn't be that difficult. Okay. So our school days, like you know, हमारे school के दिन, right? So either you can say क्या तुझे याद है school के दिन, or you can say क्या तुझे school के दिन स्कूल के दिन याद है सो ओके सो इट विल बी हमारे राइट आई मीन आर स्कूल डेज राइट हम इज वी राइट जस्ट वी बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट आर इज लाइक आर स्कूल डेज हमारे स्कूल के दिन ओके ओके आई एम जस्ट गोना मेक सम मोर वेरिएशन here so that way you you kind of get to um sometimes you talk talk about the food you used to eat or like a food joint uh, in your college because each pretty much each college has like a food joint which is very popular among the students right um for example i went to usc right so they had a chanos right uh, do you remember burrito of chanos let's say or chanos burrito so each each pretty much like most of the college have like something that you remember right i mean <clears throat> so it should be simple because like all you are doing is like kya tujhe yaad hai you know chanos it's like a name of the place ka burrito <clears throat> or you can say kya tujhe chanos ka burrito yaad hai okay right? so you can make the changes based on you know any particular scenario you have and uh, um and that would kind of do any question here actually i'm going to take a quick pause here to see if you have any questions or comments <clears throat> no good okay <laughs> all right so we just have four more minutes um because we got disconnected we probably won't have time to uh to to have a discussion but you know i'm just going to keep it short um maybe we can like have a discussion for quick 5 minutes um okay so are you want to now last thing like you know if you're closing your conversation with your friend i mean you can nowadays you can check are you on are you on social media right are you on social media uh and here pretty much you're talking about you know facebook or twitter <laughs> or linkedin or anything right uh <clears throat> again if you look at it it's present you know uh, are you on social media basically it's a you know present indefinite tense kya aap aur kya aap tu kya aap social media pe hai राइट right? क्या आप सोशल मीडिया पे हैं और क्या तू क्या तू सोशल मीडिया है यू हियर यू कैन यूज एनीथिंग राइट यू नो क्या तू सोशल मीडिया पे है राइट एंड देन अनदर सेंटेंस वुड बी वी शुड कनेक्ट राइट व्हिच इज बेसिकली आई होप दिस इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड The only th new thing here to learn is on, which is the post position for which you are using pay. Everything else, in my opinion, should be, especially at your level, it should be straightforward for you. And then <clears throat> the last sentence I have is like, we should connect, or we should connect, or we should stay in touch. Stay. 
in touch. Quick question, what is the difference between pay and per same? Both of them are same, there's no difference. <coughs> Uh, we should connect, right? So you will say, Hame, Hame, or Hamko, Hamko connect Hona Chahiye. Either you will say, Hamko connect Hona Chahiye, or you can say, Hamko <coughs> Jodana. Juna is again like you know it's not used that commonly most of the time nowadays people just use English word but if you really want if you're really particular you can say Jurna and again Jurna is referring to connect to basically <coughs> or you can also say Hame and that's a Hindi word stay in touch for that Hame Sampark Sampark me rehna chahiye. So it might be a little bit difficult. Sampark me rehna. Sampark me rehna is stay in touch. And the way you write it is like you have a sir, half ma, a, and then ka with like r on top. Sampark. Right. So, we or to stay in touch with So, we rushed towards the you know, last 10 minutes, but it is not clear. Let me know. I'll be glad to kind of cover it again. Uh, but I quickly wanted to have like an opportunity where you know, we can open it up for discussion. So, folks who are watching live on YouTube, uh, let's meet again. I'm going to stop broadcasting now.